Chachang here, and finally having that 1v1 with Suffinigga here. And I don't know if y'all saw in that last 3v3 I posted where um, him and I were just talking so much trash at the end of that. So uh, he's like, yeah, you know, gotta do that 1v1, gotta do that 1v1. So here it is, him and I 1v1. And he opted for a Hunts War Arabia. So I am perfectly okay with, pretty comfortable with this. Kind of a bad start for me. It took a while to find those sheep. Scouted with my villagers at the beginning, which is pretty common for Hunts War if you don't find your villagers, cause, your sheep even, because you don't need to build houses. And anyway, so without further ado, over here we have Chachanair here in the red, that's me, uh, playing as the Huns. And in gray, we have Suffinia playing as the Huns as well, so we will have a Huns War. Let's check his map out here. He just found his 2-4, which is good for him. Uh, pretty easy wall off here. Uh, there's his main gold, so he can keep that main gold pretty safe, even though it is on a hill. Um, got his berries on the front, also on a hill. If he builds his military buildings here, that'll be good for him. Wall off me using that stone. And uh, scouting with these sheep, that's good. And he can even wall this off and not a terrible map for him. His wood is definitely not the best. Uh, but luckily he doesn't have to deal with any of all, all those oases. Um, so not, not terrible wood lines, but it's going to maybe have some trouble keeping him safe. Opting for his head. Six villagers on sheep and let's check. Yes, and then he's going to go for his next on wood. And let's see where he builds his lumber camp. I imagine here, maybe. Uh, if he's going to build a lumber camp. And I think he's found all the sheep. Nope, missing two. And there's his lumber camp. I uh, kind of delayed for him, and uh, it's not a terrible spot. Uh, Chachanir over here. I have this lumber line here. I have this small oasis. Not a huge deal. I didn't really want to go for this front wood right away. And I am going to have this hill here, which is going to be a big problem. I'm actually in the middle of this huge um, crater, I guess you want to say. This gold here on this crater is not good. Archers over here will be able to just destroy. Uh, got these boars here that I got to worry about on the boar lure. Uh, they could kill those villagers a lot easier and uh, could be lamed. And getting our sheep in. And pretty standard build from me. And pretty standard build for Suffinigga. Nothing too much going on. Speed it up a little bit. Same pop for both of us. And with these sheep, you want to kill them under the TC so that you can just deposit that food as quick as possible. And I have some sheep further away and this sheep a lot closer. I did that on purpose so that they only kill the one. Going for that boar lure. I have my three on wood, seven on sheep. Going for that boar lure on filter number 12. And got shoot again. Gonna be a little late. So I just went for that one instead. Excuse me. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's so hard to see gray on the map. I had a dark gray patch on, but I'm not sure where that went. And you can see they just pretty much finished that shape right when she gets there, so that's pretty good. Going for that mill. Could have put it a little further over so that you could get another farm here. And wow, uh, it's so hard to see the gray. Stuff in here, 15 pop. And. He is going for his berries now, already has his first boar, and should be going for his second boar about now. He's going to be very late on that, and his sheep still had 50 food, so really not a great start for him. Uh, he had this boar in a little too early, and this one's going to be late. And I should be just about fine on that boiler. I really can't remember this game was played a while ago. Going for that farm, going for a typical scout build. Uh, putting two palisades here. Uh, maybe just to scout, make sure later to see what's around there. And Pilger gets back fine and pretty good boiler. And now he's going to have two pretty.
pretty much wasted half of two sheep, so that's pretty much uh, one full sheep just kind of going to be rotting away. Not really great for him. Other than that, it's pretty standard build. Got his farm up, going to go for scouts, and I'm actually further ahead at this point. Same pop. If I have two farms out, he's got one. And now going to throw the rest of these villagers on wood. And this is... he's now scouting my base. I am way over here trying to find his, and clearly I'm going in the wrong direction. Uh, usually they are on the opposite side of the map, so here probably would have been a good guess. And watch this. Um, Suffinaga comes over here and realizes he has a hill bonus on this villager, and he also sees I don't have bloom. And it's also a really delayed reaction from me. There was a lot of lag in this game. Uh, but yeah, he's going to pick that villager real easy, early I, I mean, and that was really, really not good. So Chachanera, I really need to be going up now, but I accidentally created another villager instead of going up. I usually, wanna, I usually go up on 22 pop, but since I lost that villager, I miscounted. I should have only gone up on 21, so I'm going to be pretty late up, and Suffinigga on the other hand is already up. And he went up on 22 pop as well, and he already has loom, so yeah, really kind of messed me up. Um, so basically I'm going to be, I think uh, Villager is 30 seconds to create, I'm going to be about 30 seconds behind. I'm at 20%, he is at 57, 58, so sounds about right. Getting his barracks up, probably going to see scouts out of him. Uh, just the one... Um, farm. However, he is going for these deer, which is going to give him quite a food advantage. And these are nice, safe deer, pretty close. I'm actually surprised we didn't see a push. He could have easily pushed those deer in. That would be a really easy one. Uh, my deer, on the other hand, were... I think that's them right there, or these. Either way, really, really not an option. Um, so he's already up. Gonna see... There you go, stable right away, and he's not really playing defensively. Uh, otherwise, maybe seen that stable here, and a quick wall. Yeah, not always walling here, so a little defensive. So you can see, pretty far behind, he's already gonna have his stable up. Well, I just got up. Stable's up, gonna have scouts coming, and meanwhile, Chachanair on 21 pop. Oh, my scout had died somehow. Yeah, I got shot by the TC. So I'm minus the scout, minus the villager, and slower up. So not looking too good. This is a big mistake on my part. Uh, first off, this villager's stuck here for some reason. I think, uh, couldn't figure that one out. I guess he couldn't walk. Oh, there's a tree there. Losing his scout pretty quickly. That was the wounded one. And that spear, I got a quick spear out because I was pretty certain he was going scouts. I saw the farms. I had not seen the stables, but I saw the farms, and I, that's pretty good, pretty good certainty. I should have built these palisades on top of the hill. This is a mistake, big mistake here uh, from me. Uh, this is going to be a much easier wall to blow up, and not really sure what I was thinking on that. Uh, it's a lot easier to look back and say what you should have done. I'm now on three scouts. Sapnea is on. He's got one here. Try to find more on the map. There's another one I saw on scouting. So it's actually looks like he's behind on scouts. Maybe. No, he's not. He's got three here. I have four. He's on five, and he has another one. So he's about one scout ahead. Makes sense. But I have spears out. I don't think he went for spears. Just the one. That's all he really needs to defend all this. Uh, probably should see. Probably should see a gold mine coming up. Usually you see that around 13:30. But he's probably thinking going heavier in scouts and see if I got my gold mine going up. At, no, both of us are pretty late. This game was played. Uh, he he told me later, he said, you know, I didn't play well, and I was like, yeah, you know, I didn't really play well either. Uh, this game was played at 1 in the morning on my end, and I, I really didn't want to play it, but the thing about it was, is we'd been talking so much trash, I was like, man, if I back out now, I look like a total loser, so I was like, really gotta 
really gotta get that in. I really need to get that ranges up too. Ah, really late, really late. So, and he's from New York, so it's actually two o'clock on his end. Really bad engagement for me, outnumbered and at the bottom of a hill. So I really need to get away and uh, really starting to really starting to get hurt here a little bit. Um, I think I uh, ran again into that. That's really bad. I think I'm probably gonna yeah start making a few more spears. I know I'm behind, especially on scouts, and I'm actually gonna stop making scouts at this point because I know I'm too far behind on scouts to really uh, come back on. And uh, he hasn't come for any upgrades on his scouts, but could definitely probably use bloodlines, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. It'd make him a lot stronger, adding 20 hit points, so it'd be 65 instead of 45. Let's see if he's actually going for that. No, he's not. Going for archers. He has one archer out already. I just got one, so about the same number. And I have these spears. He's gonna try to get in here. He doesn't know that whole Sarah Force. So I am fully walled, so I have that going for me. Quick little micro war here. He's gotta stay away from those spears. And I yeah. He's at the bottom of the hill now. I should have patrolled that in or something. Getting a couple hits on. So not not, not bad at this point. Just really I lost all those scouts for pretty much nothing. And I've had to create a lot more spears than him, which is uh, quite a big deal, actually. You really, really can hurt your uptime. Not to mention Suffanega, he did get all those four deer, so he had a lot of extra free food. He's got a lot of farms up, so... Let's see. Uh, Food-wise? Wow, he's doing... Even though he's created a lot more scouts, he has a lot more food. And it was those deer, you could collect them so much faster, so that's been good for him. And I'm gonna lose that last scout. Just trying to get some sort of eco for us and not gonna happen. Or some exploring. He does have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight villagers on cold. And ranges. A few archers in there. And probably have the archer up uh, advantage. Uh, just getting a blacksmith up. And a third archery range and castle age. So we'll probably see a third and fourth archery range from him, which is pretty common. And Chachanir. Wow, where'd all the food go? Upgrades, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what, I must have gotten Fletching. There you go. And Suffanega, opting to wait on Fletching and go for a faster uptime instead. This is a good engagement for me, gonna lose a lot of scouts here. Uh, maybe could have micro that better, but he's got the he has the bloodlines now, so they are so much stronger, and it's gonna force me to make more spearmen to deal with that. At this point, I was actually thinking he was probably gonna go. I mean, I knew he had the archer rangers, but he I thought I was figuring he's gonna go to knights uh, as well as cavalry archers because he did have enough scouts. He could definitely upgrade light cavalry. He could justify that. And I knew he had bloodlines, but uh, obviously he could be doing that to get uh, cavalry archers. So, still haven't clicked up yet. And he is 80 90% of the way up, so good play by him. And I think I even had more farms out, so really those deer just make quite a big difference. He's gonna try to force his way in here, which he can do pretty easily because. Um, it is, it's a downhill engagement for him, so good for him. And really, building these walls, I have these archer ranges at the bottom of the hill, really not good for me at all. Have to get that other range out, really. Um, and I think I probably just clicked up. Yes. So he's already up, and he needs to push his engagement. He needs to push while he has the advantage. And he also probably could use another range. He's got the wood for it. And what is he going for? Uh, see, he's starting to decommission a lot of these farms. Uh, going for a pretty early town center. Could build a little closer. And cavalry archers now. And Bodkin. They did hear Mary Bodkin in this game. And there's his engagement here. Forcing a tower up to me. Which again is at the bottom of this hill. 
losing a villager. I need to get out, losing another villager. And this is just. I uh, should have walled this, maybe. And these scouts, they are just taking a ton of. These, this ton of damage just because of that. Uh, uh, I'm shooting uphill on this. This is a terrible, terrible engagement for me, and I know it. Um, I had to get these spears in, but they have that. Uh, Bloodline, so they are are much much stronger. Turn that volume now. Finally getting Castle Age. I still need to get that range up. I'm have too much wood, really. And again, fighting at the bottom of a hill, not good. Plus with the upgrade disadvantage. Yeah. Not looking great. Oh, I'm not online. POV, there we go. Crossbowman, right there. Just got a uh, bodkin, so should clear these archers up. Uh, meanwhile, he has cavalry archers coming in. He's been castle edge much, much longer than I've been. And he already has... Well, just now finishing that town center. I guess he only had one villager building that. That was kind of a mistake on his part. I do have a lot of wood. Uh, maybe a... S uh, you know, I knew I really have to get town centers up, but the problem is since he forced his tower up, I don't have the stone, so I can't get one up yet. Getting forced off wood again, so doing a good job by Suffinigga, kind of just, you know, keeping me on my toes. And I want to get around because I want to get on top of this hill, but the problem is he's going to break through that because he's blowing it up a lot faster, being, um being on top of a hill. He does 25% more damage. That does apply to buildings as well. And here we go. Another engagement. And I don't mind trading crossbows for cavalry archers at this point, but I really, really just need to defend. And I need to be going cavalry archers myself. Our skirmishers, which wouldn't be ideal, forced a market from me so that I could buy stone. And... I don't have a gold yet. So I was selling wood, buying stone, now I don't have enough wood for a... <laughs> now I don't have enough wood, uh, rebuilding that palisade, and now I don't have enough wood for that TC, and I know I need to get my TCs up, because I know I'm at a big disadvantage. He's already on three TCs. At this point, it's pretty much, uh, they probably call it game here. I mean, even just looking at the scores, he's about to break in again, and uh, doesn't even look like there's a hole there. I guess... I don't know. And, uh... Yeah, not looking great. Um, if we look at resources... Safanega, he's just spending them all really well. Uh, idle ranges. And only on three, but he's on three town centers as well. And he has a university, so he probably already has ballistics as well. And these are fully upgraded, except missing one armor upgrade. I'm also missing an armor upgrade but playing so far behind, trying to get that other TC up. And uh, Cavalry Archer is just so much stronger than crossbows, but I uh, you know, can't can't really run away because they'll outrun you and they'll just mow you down, so you got to stay and fight this. Uh, trying to get Cavalry Archers up myself. I do have the same upgrades, but Sifty probably has Ballistics, and now I've lost my army. And uh, he's going to push through here again. Real easy. Just pull that up real quick. And my only hope is to jump in the TC real quick. I could have walled here, try to slow him down. And just a few cavalry archers is not going to be enough to defend this. He is continuing to make more. He has more back in base. He needs to get him up front. And he probably needs another range up. Not sure why he only did the three. Almost a thousand point score difference at this point, losing more villagers, and uh, it really is GG at this point. But you know, I was mad at him, and uh, I just want to keep him, uh, keep him uh, here all night. And uh, at this point, I'm kind of just, you know, trying to do the damage where I can. But it's, uh, it is, it is GG at this point. Uh, let's face it, guys, just couldn't, couldn't handle it. And uh, starting to throw up some more farms from him. He's probably not thinking about Imperial Age yet, but uh, could could be. You know, has to start planning for it. 
He needs to rebuild these lumber camps. That's not good for him. Uh, building another mining camp here would be good, so these villagers don't have to walk as far. And uh, what's going on in base? Well, he has a siege workshop. Going for the batting ramp. Just going for the finish. These cavalry ushers are still being a nuisance. I've lost so many villagers at this point. I have idle TC. Uh, you know, not enough food to create more villagers. I have villagers idle in here. And, uh, you know, I finish off these cavalry ushers and more coming in. Got a battling ram coming in. And I'm, you know, really need to actually. Gold's not much of an issue. I do have a bunch of gold. I've been using the market. Uh, trying to buy what I need, sell what I don't, and uh, it's really not the most efficient way to play. And uh, more cavalry archers just rolling in. He now has the plus two. Oh, we still have the same upgrades, but oh, he actually doesn't have uh, ballistics. And there you go, GG, son. Anyway, uh, we did talk after this a bit. He's a pretty cool guy, and uh, he's actually from New York, I think. Yeah, that's right, because he's an hour, hour ahead, and uh, actually he plays on Fubly a bunch, so he's an 1800 rated player on Fubly, so yeah, it's quite a bit better rated, but I did, I did play really bad, and honestly, one of the main reasons I lost this, probably what I think my biggest mistake was, was walling this, walling at the bottom of the hill and building my military buildings at the bottom of the hill, never a good idea, you're going to make almost all your engagements be at the bottom of the hill, they'll be able to get in your base a lot faster. And uh, it's not the main reason I lost, but that was that's a big, big problem. The other thing was he had those deer, and I didn't get mine. Uh, you know, you can still obviously win, but that did that did hurt me a bunch. You know, playing against a guy who who is better than me, and uh, that wasn't good. Uh, I also walked in this game a little cocky. I thought I had this in the bag. Watching him, in those I played two team games with him now, and we destroyed his team twice, which is why I uploaded both those games. You know. I'm kind of sure it was going through my head. Uh, I thought I had this game in the bag, but uh, no, clearly he he uh, took me out pretty pretty easily. That quick villager pick though, man, that was just kind of bad luck on my part. I clearly, I didn't see that scout at all. Uh, so hard to see gray on this map, but uh, that was uh, that was an awesome play by him. Good, good job from him. Let's check achievements here, even though I know they're gonna be ugly. We have uh, units killed. He killed a much more largest army. Uh, I wasn't that far off, but uh, I, I definitely didn't have the upgrades. I think that was when I had all those archers and uh, archers against cavalry archers. Well, we know how that goes. And uh, just ecos where he just absolutely destroyed me. 85 villagers to 52, and he beat me in every aspect on eco, especially food and wood. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time.